Hey, just as a follow-up to this uh, engine shaft modification video I posted before, I wanted to show you uh, how, how I went about getting the keyway for it. Um, it's a 3 16 keyway is what this clutch here requires, and uh, this clutch is it's integral to, to the clutch, um, the keyway is. So anyway, what I did is I went down a good old Harbor Freight, and, uh, and I picked up some cutting discs. This one I stacked stacked uh, several together and um, surprisingly I, I only used one setup it didn't didn't grind to any di discs compared uh, considering the hardness of the shaft I was surprised so I went after with that and uh, carefully followed the straight edge line and got as far up to the engine as I could and then once that was done um, again another Harbor Freight product is these uh, diamond Dremel discs, and they're they're twenty thousandths each. So I stacked all those together, and uh, then came back in and got even closer to the crankcase, much as I needed. So uh, that being being done, um, one thing I, I realized is that uh, I really didn't have to be careful about the depth. I just needed to have that that nice drive edge uh, along one side. To, to, uh, to bear against the key and uh, so that made it a lot easier um, but when doing the shaft I used a regular pulley that didn't have a key in it that I used as a go no go gauge and got that to where it slipped on nicely and then once that was done I got the uh, got the clutch out and and uh, with a little finessing got it to fit nicely on there now this particular clutch doesn't have allen screws to set screws on it it just floats on there so I will need to cut this off um, where it needs to be and then put in a retaining bolt on this side and then I'll be good to go uh, to put it on the good old cart which currently has a 5 horse and uh, one I just uh, modified as a 10 horse so it will be significant, significantly more powerful. I um, have to modify my, my cool little intake to fit on the new engine but it um, should be lots of fun for my son and I.